Hi, I have in front of me here a four-way HDMI over CAT5 splitter. Basically the idea of this is to take an input from a set-top box, such as we're demonstrating on my left-hand side here, and we can take that HDMI input, we can split it and output the signal as a CAT5 format, run it over CAT5 or CAT6 cables up to a maximum distance of 60 meters, convert it back to HDMI and then feed up to four uh, remote TVs uh, with a single setup. So this is actually a great, great product. Um, if we have, we'll say, a central location where we have uh, a set-top box and we want to be able to run the picture in high definition, long distances, particularly if we don't have HDMI cables run already, uh, but we do have, we'll say, CAT5 cables run, this is a, a fantastic solution. Also, if we do need to run cables, of course, it's much easier to run CAT5 cables than it is HDMI, and the run length on CAT5 cables is up to, we'll say, you know, 60 meters, no problem, much longer than that, in fact. Where with HDMI leads, generally they're coming at a maximum length of 20 meters, although there is some exceptions. So um, the video is going to take three formats, uh, three parts. I'm going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the box. We're going to go into some detail about the actual setup here. And the final thing then is we'll give a demonstration of this actually working, and you can see it. But it's a fantastic piece of kit, and the setup on it is incredibly easy. So the first thing to, to say is that it comes in an outer box like this. Uh, we have a power unit uh, that is 5 volts and 3 amps and this is what powers our main splitter and then each of the receiver units which are each marked with the lettering RX okay, uh, each of those it has a single 5 volt 1 amp power unit on it we have a little user manual here that's in English, it's very brief uh, but basically you'll get a very good idea here in terms of the setup very quickly so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually going to move to the front of the unit here and we'll just do a quick overview of what's going to happen so I'm just going to bring the, the main um, unit forward here. So what we'll envisage here is we have a, um, a set-top box. We're running a HDMI lead out. We'll run it over here. And we grab our power unit, which is the 5-volt 3-amp one I just showed here. And we give power. So it's taken the signal from the box. The HDMI goes in. And now it's ready to output it. And it can output it to each or all four of these at a time, depending on what way we want to run it, how many TVs you have to connect. So um, each one is a CAT5, and that's ready to go. So what we'll do at this point is we'll simply run a CAT5 cable here to our receiver units. Just as a brief note to the front of the box here, if we just look along here, we can just see the power output lights on it, all the rest of it. And it's just indicating, I'll, I'll actually indicate it better if I would say we have the cables connected up here in a few moments' time. So, um, and what the thing it has here is an EDID. Uh, and that's just basically, it's, it's more or less like a, a reset switch where you can just flick at the different formats here. So you're having problems here, you can just flick it here and it's a sort of a debugging thing. Generally we'll say, and in this setup here, it works straight out of the box, we didn't have to use any sort of a, a recess on it. So I'm just going to move this out of the way, but we're just in that, envisaging all the time we have a cat 5 cable coming out of here. So as it's the same procedure with all of these, I'm just going to move all these out of the way and we're going to have a scenario where we have the CAT5 cable runs directly in here. We have a power unit such as this one here, connects into the side where it says 5 volts. We just run it directly in and we just flick the unit around here and we have HDMI output here. And this is obviously what would connect directly to our TV. So we can do this four times over, we'll say. Now in the scenario we have here, we just have this very small HD um, setup box here. We run the signal from the box directly in here. Okay, and we have two outputs from it, and you can see the two coils of CAT5 we have, two receiver units that are up here, and the power unit, of course, powering it. We'll see here, if I pulled out the power unit here, the power would go off, and we're just checking here that we're getting output. I'm just going to remove these two cables here, and we'll see our picture is gone, but the light's in the front of the box here, still lighting away. So it doesn't matter which of these. I was using output one and uh, three originally. I'll just use one and two at this point here. So each of these cables here, so if we come down and we just look at this particular unit here, we can see that the output is coming from the first one. But if I disconnect this HDMI lead, I just came to the next unit, which is of course also been powered, we can see both LED lights on. Just wait a moment now, and the picture's there again. Okay, so what's really great about this is that there's no picture quality loss over the CAT5. It's fantastic from that perspective. So we can run it there and we're having it in full HD, it can support that all the way through. Indeed, it can support 3D 
over the length of this thing here. So this particular product sits with a wide range of products we have for sending uh, HDMI over Cat5 uh, or you know various other means of doing it. But this one here has great applications in terms of, there's often scenarios where you want to do this. Now the one thing to note on it is it does not support IR. It's not possible for many of the remote locations to change the channels, things like that. So in, in that extent, but what it's creating really is a virtual uh, HDMI network with HDMI cables, all the rest of it, except we're doing it on a Cat5 here. I find this product in terms of what it's able to achieve, the price point that's coming in it, and, uh, and the picture quality, really, really good. And the setup on it was extremely simple. So that's it anyway. Uh, a four-way HDMI over Cat5 um, uh, sender uh, system.